Arriving at Wiltshire and Swindon Coroner's Court, the sisters of Corporal Element. They'd sought a judicial review to get this second inquest. The High Court ordered it should take place. We want some justice and we want some answers. And we want to know the real reason what happened between my little sister and why she wasn't protected. The family don't doubt the cause of death. The Royal Military Police officer was found hanged on the 9th of October 2011, three days after her 30th birthday. At issue, the broader narrative of her life, which could have contributed to her death. Senior Coroner Nicholas Reinberg began by explaining the scope of the inquest. He said he would hear evidence about the allegations of rape that were made by Corporal Anne-Marie Element against two fellow RMP officers while she was serving in Germany and try to assess how this could have contributed to her death. He also said that he'd look at the effectiveness of medical and welfare support within the military and allegations of bullying and overwork within the Corporal's unit. Much of this, including the allegations of rape, were not alluded to in the first inquest. First witness was Corporal Element's mother, Alexandra Barnett. She explained that her daughter had appeared happy serving in Germany until the alleged rape. After that, Mrs Barnett explained that her daughter had been transferred to the UK to serve at Bulford, viewing the move as the start of a new life. Mrs Barnett then explained that her daughter's attitude changed. She told her mother that she was being overworked, often doing 80-hour weeks, and that she was being bullied and belittled by colleagues and senior personnel. Anne-Marie Element was also distressed, the inquest was told, after she learned that the rape allegations she had made were not being taken any further. She also claimed she was being taunted over what had happened. At the rear of this group, the second witness, Sharon Hardy, Corporal Element's half-sister. She said that her half-sister was absolutely traumatised by the alleged rape and after she made the allegations, friends started to turn on her. Mrs Hardy said that her sister, while still in Germany, hid in her room as colleagues shouted outside, here was the girl that cried rape. Sharon Hardy also explained that her sister was subject to the same taunt months later at Bulford and also in front of hundreds of people at the Army-Navy rugby match at Twickenham. Corporal Paul Butler told the court he had almost had a relationship with Corporal Element. He told the inquest that she complained to him that colleagues were mean to her and didn't think she was competent at her job. The inquest heard that Anne-Marie Element had attempted suicide once before back in 2003 and prior to that had been prescribed antidepressants. Written evidence read to the court today by a colleague of Anne-Marie Element said she had seen evidence of self-harming. The inquest is expected to last for two weeks. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Salisbury.